Gentlemen, welcome back. Welcome back to the GBA, the Global Battle Association, the start of season three. We lost some of our old roster, we've added some new additions. But now, we have the first hurdle in this marathon of a season against the New York Mankeys. Now, if you're into history, you know we beat them season one, week one, and proceeded to lose every single game after that in the season. Season two, we lost to these very same Mankeys. Now, season three, we open the year again with the rubber match. With a match to get started on the right foot, we won the season opener last year, but we missed the playoffs. This year, this year, everything changes. We have been the laughing stock of this league for the past two seasons, and you know what? You guys might not be sick of it, but I sure as hell am sick of it. I sure as hell am sick and tired of hearing jokes about Malamar, about Mega Amphros, and about our 1-9 season. And I'm sure as shit tired of hearing how we've never made the playoffs. Now, we can't get ourselves into the playoffs this week, but we can set ourselves off on the right course by opening up the season with a win. With a win against the New York Mankeys. Now, I'm wearing this hat because there's a blizzard here in New York right now, but it doesn't matter because we don't need it. We don't need any favors. We don't need any help. We don't need any patronage from any other team in this league. No one's going to do us any favors tonight. No one's going to help us out over the course of the entire season. It is all on us. We have a full plate and we have to devour each course one by one until at the end of the season we have put ourselves in a position to finally reach that brass ring, to finally hoist that trophy. Now what do you guys say? Let's go out there and let's show them exactly why the Milwaukee Sawsbucks of old are gone and the new Milwaukee Sawsbucks are here and we ain't going anywhere. You want to get in our way, you'll get the fucking horns. Now let's go out there and kick some fucking ass. Internet, good morning. My name is Magnitude and welcome back. Welcome back to the GBA, the Global Battle Association. We have Season 3, Week 1 of 12 against Shady Penguin and the New York Mankeys. Now if you watched... My team preview video yesterday, you can see that I got some of the Pokemon he was going to bring wrong. Did I thought there was no way he could bring Trevenant or Tentacruel, and he brought them. He told me, he said he thought I was going to bring a majorly physically offensive team, and I did. But, even though he, you know, we both planned for each other, so now let's... Let's see the results. We got Mega Altaria, Tentacruel, Trevenant, Gardevoir, Porygon Z, and Crawn. I was right with four of those, so hopefully that'll be enough knowledge that I bestowed upon myself in my prediction skills. Uh, but he leads with uh, Porygon Z. I just uh, opt him. Mean, you know what? We're going to keep with the original strategy. He goes in a lullaby. That's going to be his Trevenant as I'm going to go ahead and get up some light screens. I got a light clay, so eight turns of that's going to be rolling. Now I figure, you know what, let's start getting spikes up. I figure if I can get that tentacle in, at least force him to rapid spin, that's one move that I know for sure he's gonna be, he's gonna have to do. Like I know when he brings a tentacle, he's going to rapid spin and I can just play off that and get a nice switch in there. I get another layer of spikes up. Uh, this one I'm like thinking now, maybe if I can just get, uh, you know, if I can get his tentacruel in here, maybe I can I can do a double switch and then he won't be able to rabbit spin at all. Also, I didn't want him to burn anything. I kind of thought he was going to burn something, so uh, now he is going to switch finally. And it is going to be in the sunspots that is his tentacruel as I decide to get up a reflect. So I got both my screens up, I'd fear no attack. And uh, now I figure, you know what, he's probably going to, after with the lead seed and a black sludge, he's probably going to have to rapid spin me, which I'm okay with. I'm going to be able to get a pivot switch off, and then we're going to be in business. So I opt to switch, obviously, like I said, predicting a rapid spin, going to settle Kaiba. That is my Mega Gallade. Break out the dual disc, lay down some three damage, lay down some trap cards, and let's get ready to rumble. I am going to become Mega. I almost used a close combat predicting him to switch. Uh, I just go for a Psycho Cut. That's not going to take it out. I thought it would. He Icy wins me to slow me down. What is this next level shit from Shady right now? This is crazy. I had no idea that was coming. 
Uh, he's gonna scald, hoping to get a burn. And you know what? He's not gonna. He's not gonna get the burn. Not on this day. I close comment in case he wanted to switch. Either way, the Sauce Bucks have the first lead of the season, up six to five against the New York Mankeys. Tenna Crew goes down. He can no longer spin. He goes into his. Uh, Porygons, yeah, I still have a light screen up, which is nice, and I go into Klefki this time, mostly to see what he's going to do, and I think my light screen going to wear anyway, but I'm going to live anyway. He goes for a Shadow Ball instead, and I'm going to get the burn damage down. Uh, the light screen does wear off, so I'm now going to be able to get up another light screen for another eight turns. So that that went off at the perfect moment. He's going to trace my Prankster. I figured he, he might have... He might have Will-O-Wisp, he might have his own screens, he might have Thunder Wave, he might... The fact that he brought Icy Wind Tentacruel means he might have, you know, he might have tr wanted to trace Prankster and built the Gardevoir on it. I don't know. Going to Metagross, it does not want it. it dies to a Bullet Punch, but he goes for a Protect. So that was a little strange, but the, yeah, this thing, um, Bandit Bullet Punch, it's going to die to it. He has to switch. Now, this part I wish I didn't bring Bandit, so I can switch up moves, but either way, he goes in a Lullaby. That's going to be his Trevor, and he, you know... Obviously, I'm abandoned at this point. I double switch, figuring he's gonna go in a Crawdont. He does not. I go in a Landorus. So now I'm gonna U turn, but he's probably gonna burn something of mine, and the Reflex gone. That's a bummer. But at least if I get a U turn off, I can, I guess, just kind of see. You know what? I, something's gonna get burned. Let's pick one. I chose Greninja because, um,. Even though he's got some physical moves, he also got the, the Dark Pulse here. Now here, I predict him to go in and I predict him to predict my Dark Pulse and go into Gardevoir, uh, which would be, I believe he's Fairy Psychic. Uh, so I, you know, I become a Poison type, So, uh, but I miss. I figured he was going to go into that, or or he's going to go into Altaria if it was a defensive Altaria. Based on his team structure, it looks like it's going to be an offensive Altaria. But I figured, you know what? I, I don't know if he wants to let Trevenant die right now because it's because it has Will-O-Wisp. So I figure he's going to want to keep Trevenant around for a long time uh, so that he can just start burning my team. But he crits me, Leech Seed damage, and that's going to be the end of Greninja. So unfortunately, that burn is going to cap off. Uh, you know, it's going to cap his... He's done for the day. Going back into Mega Gallade, I have Knock Off it. Nothing won't Knock Off. Get the fuck out of here now. Mega Gallade's got two kills. Trevenant's gone. Tentacruel's gone. We are in business. He has predict me. Now I know I can live. I could. He could do 63% at most to me with a with a Scarf Tri Attack. It has to be Scarf. Doesn't matter if you pick Tri Attack or not. I go for close combat. Porygon Z's gone. That crit did not make a difference. Mega Gallade has got his third kill of the game, and right now it looks like we have the device, a grasp, a clamp on it. Now I predict him here to. This is why I have Melet. I said on my video, my video yesterday. But I predict him here to go for an Aqua Jet. But I'm going to get an Intimidate off. So even, I guess if you even want to Dragon Ants, that's fine. I'm going to lower his attack at least one. That's going to do not. You know, he can't do a kill me. I'm going to U-turn. Going to get rid of his Sash. I, if he had a Sash, which he probably had a Sash. And now we're going to go into Mellow Etta. If you want the Dragon Dance, that don't mean a goddamn thing to me. I have a Focus Sash, so it doesn't make a difference for your crap hammer pulling on my Sash. That's fine. Uh, I, he's gonna Aqua Jet though, not, not Crab Hammer, that's not gonna do half to me, I'm gonna Relic Song, we're gonna become Pirouette Form, and that also means, that also means we're gonna get some physical attacks going, and now he has very few options left. He has Mega Altaria, and he has, uh, well, Glade, and we're both of them lose to Metagross, so now, I'm hoping, just please, can I just get some Serene Grace luck, I got Ice Punch coming his way, uh, I'm going to Ice Punch him, and that's going to do a lot of damage, and it does, and uh, he goes for the Cotton Guard, and here I go, oh my god, he brought Defensive Altaria, I thought it had to be, I thought it had to be Offensive, come on Ice Punch, please crit, no, he caught, he bruised, no, we're up 4-2, to two. that thing was at 20%, I, I have Serene Grace, a crit will kill him, a freeze will be awesome, he roosts again, a crit will still kill him, because it will ignore stat boost, and the first one did more than half, come on, Meloetta, Serene Grace, get, no, okay, he's gonna Cotton Guard, he's now at plus 6, now I'm up Shit's Creek without a paddle, I had this, I had it, had it, Ice Punch, don't, don't let it get out of our grasp, we get one crit, it's done, and you have Serene Grace, that's double the chance of a crit, just one of them! You ice punching so many, just one of them, or a freeze! No, Hyper Voice, Mega Altaria, the destruction can, has to end here, he's at plus, I brought a pretty much physically offensive team, I did not, I had no idea, and he has Flamethrower for Metagross, I had no, I, can I get a crit, can I get a crit meter mesh? A crit ends the game right now, can I get it? No, but it, 
That was a plus six. Are you serious? That was a plus six. That's crazy. So I'm like, come on, I'll give a flamethrower. Hit back with a psycho cut. Need a crit. Come on, another opportunity. We got a chance. No, we roost again, but I still have a chance. I still have a chance to get a high crit ratio with the psycho cut one one time. Can I get no, I can't get it there either. He kills Mega Lade. We are on our last leg. This is not how it's gonna end. We've had so many chances to get one little bit straight luck. We missed the gunk shot, which was unfortunate, and he crit the clef key, which was unfortunate, and he crit the Greninja, which was unfortunate. We just need a little bit of luck. Roost, he's just gonna stall me out. The Mankeys from the jaws of did I miss stall out? I couldn't get a crit on stall. I had so many high crit chances. I am dead from the jaws of defeat. The Mankeys grab victory. I cannot believe it. Can I get a crit? We nice. No. That's the game. A 2-0. If you remember, guys, I'm doing press conferences every week. If you guys have questions for the press conference, leave them below and I'll answer them in my coach mode. That's the battle. Rate, comment, and we'll see you guys next time.